What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. Got a nice casual duel for you guys to check out. And if you like boss monsters, you are going to love this duel because it's pretty much going to be dominated by them. And, you know, I still have a healthy level of respect for uh, Odd Eyes. I think that, um, you know, they can still use Electromite pretty well. Be, uh, being able to Pendulum Summon level 7s from your hand can still give you a lot of damage. You can go into, obviously, Absolute and Vortex Dragon, so it's still pretty good. And then we have a Jirac version of Dinosaurs at the top. This is actually more focused on well this is like a lost worlds version but you see like the Jirac guaiba i haven't personally seen this card since probably about like dino rabbit format it was a monster then especially with forbidden lance nowadays really not so much but it is still a powerful card if you can pull it off because you get another copy from your deck or you get another Jirac level four it's kind of like a one card uh doka or lakia in that situation or i mean you can go for any rank four but those are generally generally the cards people go for anyways let's go ahead and roll it so pen Pendulums are up first, and he's going to make a decent play. I do believe a little too much advantage is being used here. This is probably one of the best cards in Odd Eyes, the uh, Art Pendulum Dragon, because if one of your cards is blown up on the field, then it basically like replaces itself. Obviously, Electromite you know, kind of facilitates that, gives you a draw at the same time. And it's looking pretty good here, but I, this is where I kind of stopped liking the play when he went for the Odd Eyes Meteor Burst Dragon, which is going to summon his Art Dragon. It gives him Absolute, but you know he then goes for the Zephyr Meta, and then he actually just goes for um, you know the odd eyes vortex dragon it's okay because you do get your negation but the problem is you don't have full pendulum scales now and you really only have two monsters and the metaltron isn't it's not really something that protects itself like it can give you an additional pendulum summon but it's not really applicable here anyways let's see what uh dinos are gonna fight back with foolish burial for the copy of, uh, I believe that was Big Rex, and he does end up negating the miscellaneous Cerasaurus because he probably knew that that was going to trigger the giant Rex, and then he'd be able to make like Utopia the Lightning, just run over the Vortex so that wouldn't work. Overwrap, they're still going to get him where he needs to go. It's going to give him a token, and he's going to drop that big Conductor Terrano, and he's still getting the giant Rex out anyway, so he basically still ended up in the same spot. In addition, he now has a Loggy on board. Now, the monsters are losing a little bit of attack because of Lost World, but it's all good not really that big of a deal and obviously conductor Tyranno. when you have a big bunch of monsters on your opponent's side of the field the card is absolutely amazing in that case now you look at this uh field and you're like all right well cap there's zero ways that this guy can obviously come back he's got a dead copy of miracle synchro fusion and nothing else lagia can just negate it You'd be surprised there. Let's see exactly what's going to transpire. So he gets that copy of Dark Worm, which uh, I don't get why Lagia just instantly <laughs> negated it. I feel like he was like, all right, dude, you ain't got nothing. And check this out. He's going to activate it, and boom, out comes Zark. Zark is going to nuke that board, and guess who's back in the duel with a monster that, yes, it is face down defense position. I like the surprise Zark, by the way, but it's a 4,000 defender. I mean, getting over Zark ain't exactly easy. I mean, Jirak Guaiba sure as hell is not going to do it, and he's not going to do it with Jirak Velo. Now, Zork is pretty much going to town, and I have to say, this is basically an even duel now. So, yeah, it's looking like um, he might be able to pull off the comeback. I don't know what uh, the Goats or Coffins is going to do. Actually, he goes for sure no Spirit Master. That is so random that he even runs that, and it actually banishes because, um, or it, it blows the monster up because it was banished. And if you look at this, I actually thought this guy's trolling. Like, what are you doing? He rams, he rams Guaiba, I believe, or Velo into Zark, and I'm like, bro, I think you're actually just drunk right now. Don't don't duel and drink, guys. It's not it's not productive for anybody, <laughs> especially not your <laughs> win loss record. Let's see what he's going to do. It looks like he's kind of giving up, but you never know what these decks because here's the problem even though he has zark on the field he's not really getting anything done in regards to like pendulum summoning because he has a lot of monsters in his extra look at all these monsters in his extra deck that he should be able to pendulum summon i would actually consider trying to give well he can't like well maybe pendulum summon these guys give up your zark and uh, go for like a link monster so that you can pendulum a bunch because zark is a great battering ram but if you only have one monster on board, your opponent will eventually catch up and kill you. So, yeah, Zark is not the uh, the end-all, be-all like it was in the anime. He is finally going to Pendulum Summon that Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. And I think he makes a mistake here. He attacks with Zark first. If he would have attacked with Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon first and then attacked with Zark, it, well, he wouldn't have ended the duel because Zark is losing 500. But he would have been closer. And uh, you know what's going to happen now? 
He gave his opponent a little too much time, and man, I think maybe Sam was right about Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. <laughs> maybe this is actually the best boss monster ever created, because look at that. He puts everything face down. He's going to kill the token, and even if his opponent had 4,000 life points, he was going to lose. In addition to that, actually, how often do you see this? I don't think I've ever actually seen this monster summon Jurassic Giganato, but yeah, he was going to be able to do 4,000 burn damage just with the uh, Conductor Tyranno, and then probably another, what, 3,100 here with this uh, big ass synchro monster so there was no hope for zark after all unfortunately it's only op in the anime it's a good card but uh yeah not good enough to single-handedly win you the duel all the time anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed this short duel if you did give the video a thumbs up thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already turn on that notification bell for daily videos